Thanks for taking 10 minutes to watch CNN Student News. I'm Carl Azus at the CNN Center. Time for the shout out. Which of these stories made headlines in 1901? If you think you know it, shout it out. Was it World's Fair opens in Chicago, Grover Cleveland elected president, first private telephone installed, or New York requires license plates? You've got three seconds. Go. New York State was the first to require license plates in 1901. Car owners made the plates themselves. That's your answer, and that's your shout out. And they didn't have numbers and letters on them that might have seemed random. Those first license plates had initials, kind of like a monogram for your car. The first state to actually issue plates itself was Massachusetts in 1903. The first number, one. We've come a long way from those plates to cameras on traffic lights that take a picture when you run a red. If you've driven through an intersection, there's a good chance they've seen you. And if you've received a traffic ticket in the mail, there's a good chance you didn't see them. It's taken a little more than 25 years, but red light cameras attached to traffic signals have become almost ubiquitous. We have red light cameras in um, more than 250 cities nationwide. The cameras are a big part of business for American traffic solutions. ATS is the largest provider of cameras in the United States, with revenues exceeding $200 million. The newest cameras are equipped with 29 megapixel sensors that can capture high-definition photos and video, quick enough to see the inside of a moving car. Many of the photos and videos are sent here to Tempe, Arizona, where they're processed by ATS employees. Workers review each traffic incident and forward them to the municipalities who decide whether or not to issue a ticket. We issue as a company um, nearly five million violations per year on behalf of our customers. But do the cameras make roads safer? In general, the studies show that red light cameras reduce red light running violations by 40 to 50 percent and injury crashes 25 to 30 percent. The cameras may be effective, but they're not cheap. Installations can run up to $100,000 each. The cameras have also generated controversy. Critics contend that they are used by cash-strapped cities to increase the number of traffic tickets. 